Hi guys. Just want to sit down for a visit. I uh, just did my house. I smudged my house to get rid of evil spirits and, and bad luck and stuff like that. And you have a, a feather. You have a sage. And you have poncho sticks. Which I use them the most because I love the smell of them. And then you have a shell. And the shell represents water. The feather represents wind. And uh, the uh, smudging represents earth and the fire. Or the fire and the sticks represent earth. And what you do is you, uh, you actually carry this around with you. You light these and you can lay them in here if you want and you just take and you brush your smoke in every corner of your room on yourself wherever you need and uh, I believe very highly in that because every time I use it my luck does change a little bit and uh, this is uh, turkey feathers which I needed eagle but around here you better not get caught with them but uh, those are turkey feathers that were sent to me from uh, Out West Homestead which I really appreciate because I needed them at the time but uh, I got my channel is starting to really grow and uh, I think I better get ready for what's coming because I've got two major events I've been invited to at the end of this month and I'm really nervous about them but I think I can do them let me turn another light on here I forgot to turn this light on But anyway, I've got uh, two major events coming up. And uh, I tell you what, between the 1st of April and the 1st of June, i got so much going on, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get, keep up with it all because I, um, I've i got, of course, you guys know i got my greenhouse. i got to get the cover on it, figure out where I'm going to set it up. I got to get the seeds in the soil, get that in there, get the oil heater in there. I've got to start worrying about getting the garden tilled because it'll have to be tilled two or three times and raked out two or three times before I can lay the black weed barrier in it. Um, I just got so much coming up. I may have to just hire someone to come and like my nephew or something to come and till the garden for me. Of course, you guys know I have a brand new tiller so hopefully he can handle it because it's a big tiller uh, but get that done and I was looking at my yard yesterday and I'll tell you it already looks like it may need to be mowed and it's just like well actually the first day of spring isn't until like the 22nd of March but the grass is turning green popping up my Easter lilies are up, my naked ladies, uh, lilies, naked lilies are up. They're called naked ladies, surprise lilies, uh, naked lilies. But all of them are up. And, you know, um, so there's a lot going on. I got to get these flower beds cleaned out because when the plants died off last year, it turned cold so fast I just didn't bother with it so now I got to get in there and clean out all the old plants and I've got to kill the grass out there I got to till that ground and get those ready to be planted again which I'm not going to put any flower seeds or anything in there until about the last week of May because it wouldn't do any good because I mean you guys watch my videos you know that May here is nothing but pouring down rain and winds and anytime I put anything in before June the 1st, it just gets washed away and I have to keep repeating it. But uh, this year, I'm going to be ready because, uh, well, you know, last year the heat got it. <laughs> the heat got everything. So we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. Mm. I'm having um, strawberry tea. I just didn't feel like coffee or anything like that tonight, so I just made me a cup of, of a kind of weak 
strawberry tea. But anyway, I hope everybody's been doing all right. Um, me, um, I feel blessed. I've been blessed the last week with some things, very exciting things happening. And then there's some very sad things that happened. And, uh, you know, uh, me and my best friend kind of got into it because of something that happened. And, and uh, proof was given to me, but I didn't look at it. Because at first, to tell you the truth, I didn't see it. And then when I went back and looked at it, I was a little shocked and we got into a big argument. So for right now, he's not talking to me, but I'm okay with that. But, you know, I don't owe anybody any apologies because, you know, it had nothing to do with me and I got attacked. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Last time I'm ever going to bring this up. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. So because too much stuff is changing and going. And also, I'm going, I think I'm going to do a, um, um, oh gosh, what did Patty call that? Artisan Journal. She's been working on hers, and I've got all the stuff together. I just haven't started on it yet. But I, I think I'm going to start on it. I had my glasses on. I guess I took them off. Um, I think what I'm going to do with mine, I love the way she does hers, but... What I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to do like one page in making a photograph out of nothing but stamps. And then the next one, the next page I'll do it, make a picture out of like um, stickers. And then the next one, maybe I'll do like a watercolor painting. The next one, maybe an acrylic paint painting. Uh, I haven't done a painting in a long time. It's been over a year, and I really need to get back to painting. But I've got so many projects that I want to get done. I bought some new uh, canvases, but I just haven't done any painting yet. I've got so much other stuff going on. And uh, in the next couple of days, maybe tomorrow, i got to start doing some Easter cards. I did a bunch of... St. Patrick's Day cards, but at that time there was so much crap going on that I just forgot to mail them out. So I won't do that on the Easter cards. I am going to get those mailed out. Um, what else is going on? Oh yeah, and I, you know, for the last, what, four or five years I've been talking about a quilt that I'm working on that is a movie uh, stri uh, strip a movie, a screen, a film strip, a movie film strip that I've been working on. And, well, I can't say working on it. I just got the stuff together to do it and just never touched it again in four years. I've got to get that done. Because um, I don't know, you know, none of us know how much time we got left. And I don't want to leave anything undone. I, all these, I've got everything written down in a book that I want to get done. So I got to get them done because I don't want to leave anything undone. But anyway, uh, you know, and plus I'm going to try to throw some cooking videos in there a little bit. It's not going to be so much anymore because the price of food is it, just ridiculous, you know, without having to keep going over the same recipes because there's certain things I can't even afford anymore. But uh, there'll be some cooking videos, but I'm getting pretty heavy into crafting stuff right now. Um, and then I've got my, I don't know if you guys remember the Arkansas book that I was working on, where I printed the picture out on slick paper and then I pressed it in the book and the picture come out in the book, it was so cool. I want to get that going again. So I got a lot going on and no time to do it. But I am so glad to see. You know what's weird is last night it got down to 18 degrees. Tonight it's supposed to be 19 degrees. And then tomorrow it's supposed to be up to 71 degrees. Isn't that wild? But we've got rain for almost every day. But you know... 
whatever happened to March winds bring in April showers that bring May flowers. Now it's like March winds with March rain and April rain and April ice and snow and and May blow everything away and flood everything. You know, but that was one of the things I remember they taught us in school was March winds bring in the April showers which bring in May flowers. I always thought that was kind of cool. But you know, the weather is changing so much everywhere. But uh, I can't wait to get my hands back in that dirt and see my plants starting to grow again. And, and I'm going to put in extra tomatoes this year and extra uh, cucumbers I bought regular, or I didn't buy, they were given to me. I got regular, um, what, a straight eight cucumbers, the bigger ones. Then I got the uh, pickling cucumbers because I want to do a, a lot of pickles this year. And also I want to do uh, sweet relish because I went, I made a lot of sweet relish that one year and I went through it like crazy. So I've got sweet relish to make and I want to make a uh, jar of a lot of salsa because I go through a lot of salsa. I eat it on eggs. I eat it. Sometimes I even put it on uh, baked potatoes and eggs and is is salsa is good for everything. You can use it for everything. The only thing I never use it for is setting dip in it because I, you know, I really don't eat chips or anything like that. So, but, uh, and uh, I'm going to try to get out as many videos as I can, guys. I really am. But I think my next project is going to be, right now, is Easter cards. I want to work on those before my two main events come up at the end of this month, which isn't very far away. Uh, I have a feeling this year is going to fly by. Anyway, I just wanted to sit down and talk with you guys a little bit and see how everybody was doing and let you know what's going on here and tell you guys how much I appreciate you and how much I appreciate you when you come and watch my videos and I appreciate you a lot whenever you leave comments because it makes me feel like you actually watch them when you leave comments you know and I love it I just absolutely love it so anyway guys I guess I better let you go because I've been sitting here yak yak yakking I was yakking so much I forgot to turn the light on in the beginning. So you guys have a good night and I will see you tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video? This is tomorrow's video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.